What's up, everybody? Matt Leinert here. C.J. Burdell was incredible last week against Ohio State. Almost 200 yards from scrimmage, three total touchdowns, and that's why he's my power player of the week. C.J. Verdell, what's up, man? How are you, buddy? What's going on, boss? Chilling, man, chilling. Can't go Hey, fight. so let's, uh, let's go back to last week real quick and just talk about the mood surrounding your team getting ready for that big game on the road against Ohio State. What was that mood like for you guys? Uh, to be honest, you know, everybody was excited. You know, we knew it was a great opportunity in front of us, and um, we just pretty much just took that head on, you know, just wanted to embrace the challenge, you know. Obviously, we're coming in there as the underdogs. And people didn't really expect us to do as well as we did. So we kind of um, came in there with a chip on our shoulders, and that was kind of like the whole attitude throughout the whole week. Well, I, I want to talk I want to talk about your performance, and so we're going to break down a couple of your touchdown runs, but almost 200 yards from scrimmage, three touchdowns. I mean, you were, you were on fire. I was there firsthand watching it, man. It was really exciting to see. So let's let's break down these touchdown plays for you we're gonna do a little film session see what you're seeing so this is the first one here what you guys saw on film did you guys see anything on film that was going to allow you to to get to the edge against this ohio state defense yeah we know like coming in we knew that they played a lot of man so uh coach Moorhead just did a great, great job you know just uh with this play in particular we kind of ran it like we ran it like three times i think Travis scored on one too um, just knowing that um, the linebacker would come in with the tight end, so it would just be an opening, uh, open lane on the outside. So you knew man coverage immediately before the snap that you had a chance to get in the end zone. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Pretty much knowing it was going to be a foot, knowing it was going to be a foot race. Here's another angle, just getting to the outside. We were actually standing right here too. That was pretty exciting. So the second <laughs> touchdown is a little outside pitch. But you pull mm -hmm. the two linemen right here. I just want you All to right. give a little love to to your linemen and how great they did blocking oh, yeah. for you and Travis. But man, I, I tell those guys every every day, every week how well they are and, and just how blessed we are to be able to run around running behind a, such a great old line. You know, those guys come in and they work hard every day. So it's it was uh, it was I was really happy for them to, the way they play. I mean, you went almost untouched in both of those touchdown runs, which is probably right. pretty cool. Exactly. Yes, sir. It's always good you can get in the end zone on phase. <laughs> Heck yeah. So, all right, so we're going to go to the third one, which is, I think, what, the 70-plus yard touchdown. This is just a little inside zone right here. But immediately yeah, exactly. when you hit that hole, are you thinking, all right, there's not a guy in sight. I'm going for a touchdown. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> it, it, well, like Coach Master, Coach Master always tells us, you know, he got this um, from Alvin Kamara, Saints running back. Uh, he always says I, he sees no failure. Like, so pretty much his mindset, whenever he gets the ball, is that he's going to score. So that's kind of the same mindset we try to take on his backs. And um, yeah, that whole, they just parted at like the Red Sea right there. So you know, I, was, I was just like, I got to hit this as hard as I can. Did you think you were going to get tackled? Because 26 right there, almost, he almost hawked you at the 10 yard line. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, no, for real. I wasn't, um, see, like people asked me if I was looking at the scoreboard and stuff. I really wasn't. I was just, once I got open, I didn't see nobody. I was just like, focus on the end zone. Okay, just go to the end zone. And then as he was getting closer, I started hearing him like, like breathing really hard. So like, okay, he's gonna start dying. He's gonna, I was like, at some point he's gonna dive. And I was just kind of just making sure I had to held the ball high and tight. I love, I love, look at your teammates pointing right there to the crowd as you're running, yeah. man. That was awesome. Well, hey, it's really, sick. I mean, incredible performance from you guys, from your offense, from your defense, really slowing down mm -hmm. um, a great team. As we look at this one more time, look at the burst, man. I love it. I love it. I was trying. I was trying to get there. <laughs> you know, I think this team is really special, and it's not just last week's performance. But you guys are onto something here. What makes this year's Oregon football team different than the years in the past? Uh, I would just say the uh, leadership and the guys that the guys at the forefront. You know, some of the other guys, including myself, how we were really taking a, a control of this thing. The whole unit, not even just offense, defense, but you know, all of us coming together, making sure we're all like each unit is sound offense, defense, and special team. You know, we want to be a complete package on the field. Before I let you go, you know, my colleague Reggie Bush, I'm sure you know who Reggie Bush is. He's from San Diego. You're from San Diego. Did you watch him growing up at all, or is he someone you oh. model your game after? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Who didn't watch Reggie Bush growing up? <laughs> man, yeah, Reggie Bush, man, one of the all-time greats in college football and in pros. So watching him, definitely watching him growing up. And, man, it's just, it just great to hear him say some of those good things.
Yeah, he, he loves you, man. So I know he'd be say that he was proud of your performance. So uh, thanks for joining us, man. Good luck this week. Of course. Thank you so much. Fox College Football is powered by Ram Trucks, built to serve. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.